My father is a dangerous man. He has the ability to kill someone at the drop of a dime. He doesn't see little people. But if he feels he is being taken advantage of or someone is backing him into a corner, watch out. I didn't know it then, but he was up plotting a murder that night. He was thirsty for revenge and trying to figure out how he was going to execute Stymie's killer, a member of the Colombo crime family who had harassed a female bartender at the restaurant. Looking back, I can recall a number of nights finding my father in the kitchen after midnight. Thank you guys for being so good, I told the kids during the ride back to the hotel that night. Before dinner, we all went for a swim in the pool. How do you guys feel about the visit? I asked as they splashed around the deep end. Aunt Karen, can I ask you a question? Nicholas said. Did Grandpa ever kill anyone? Oh my God, we still had another day to go, and I didn't want the kids to be scared of their grandfather, but I didn't want to lie to them. Yes, he did, I said, matter-of-factly. It's part of being in the Mafia. Nicholas persisted. What's the Mafia? I tried to explain as best I could. What I knew as a kid growing up was that it was a group of Italian men who came to America. It was hard for them to get jobs and stuff, so they came together and formed a secret organization to take care of each other, like a family did. It may have involved stealing and robbing. Why did they kill people then? I didn't know how to respond. Why don't you ask Papa Bull tomorrow when we see him? I don't want him to be mad at me. That night, I thought about Nicholas and his questions. He reminded me of myself at his age. He was intrigued for different reasons than my daughter. He was trying to make the connections as I once had. Well, what did the kids say? My father whispered when I hugged him hello the following morning. They had a good visit, I smiled, glancing over at my nephew. My father said, so you think your papa's crazy? No, you're good, Nicholas said, shaking my father's hand. Dad, Nick has some questions he wants to ask you. Nicholas crossed his arms in front of him. No, he murmured. What? What is it, Nick? Nothing. Dad, he wants to know what a gangster is. And about the mafia. I watched my father's face for a reaction, but saw none. Taking my nephew by the arm, he led him to one of the plastic chairs along the wall. Nick, my father began, There are certain things that I might not answer, but I'm going to try and guide you. I couldn't believe it. That's just what he had said to me some 20 years, 27 years earlier in the kitchen of our Staten Island home. My father laid out what the mafia was all about, in terms expressly chosen for his grandchildren. The mafia, <clears throat> excuse me, the mafia started back in Italy. It was a group of men that got together and formed a brotherhood. They protected their villages and their families. These men built their new brotherhood on trust and loyalty. They would do, they would do what was needed to take care of one another and their families. They called this brotherhood Cosa Nostra, Italian for our thing. When the Italians started to come to America, a lot of the old-time men worked hard, but they were immigrants, and it was hard for them to get jobs. So they started to steal and rob and do whatever they needed to take care of their families. As these men started to make money, they earned respect, and a lot of the younger men wanted to be a part of the organization, which was now called the Mafia. I wanted to be part of it, Nick, my father explained. I looked up to this brotherhood so much that I wanted to be just like them, even if it meant not always doing the right thing. I liked that it had rules, structure, and organization. To me, it was like being in the army, and Costa Nostra became my government. My daughter didn't say a word. She just listened. Did you ever murder someone, Nicholas asked in a soft voice. I did, but God don't like that, Nick. That's why I'm in here. Looking back now, I realize I took the easy road. Everything that I ever did in life was because I wanted to give my family a better life, and because I made mistakes, I wound up here in prison. I live with what I did every day of my life, so make it all worth it for me. Make sure you never wind up here. Before we left the prison that day, my father pulled Nick aside. You have to promise Papa Bull one thing. You'll always be a good boy and you'll take care of your aunt, your cousin Karina, and your grandma. Make sure that you go to school. That's important. If something looks too easy, don't take that rope.